thank you so much for watching today my name is bradams and welcome back to another video now in the past i did a top five attack operator video but it wasn't that good and it wasn't even attack it was both all right so today i'm bringing you a up-to-date version of my top five best attack operators for new players to use now keep in mind these may have to cost money so if you don't want to spend a lot of money don't buy the operators that you have to just watch to the end i appreciate it thank you so much and i will talk to you guys later bye coming in at my number five spot i have thatcher thatcher is a two speed two armor operator with a very easy difficulty to learn how to use he has two assault replicas, the L the L eight five A two or the AR thirty three. He also has the M fifty nine O A one shotgun with a P two two six pistol. For his gadgets, you can choose between claymore or breaching charges. I personally like to use the claymore to watch um, those who like to flank. You can also use breaching charges if you are planning on to flank. And you need to have a way to break through hatches and whatnot. His gadget is insane. It is probably the most useful gadget on attack, other than those, you know, such as Thermite, Habana, and Maverick. What his ability is able to do is it basically all the electronics in the area, such as Alibi, Cade. Um, another one that's really, really, really popular is Legion, and especially Bandit. He is really, really good at clearing those out of the way for attack operators. Really good at getting rid of Cade and Bandit charges for Thermite and Habana. And really good at just getting rid of, you know, all those annoying alibis. You know, disabling Echo's drones is really, really good. So, all around, he's an insane operator. And on all of his guns besides the shotgun, he has access to the ACOG. So definitely, definitely one of the better operators in Rainbow Six. Now moving on to number four. Coming in at our number four spot, we have the other European, Sledge. He, Sledge is also a two-speed, two-armor operator and has access to the M59 and the L85A2 AR. He also has the SMG-11 and the same pistol as Thatcher. As his gadgets, he has a stun grenade and the frag grenade. Always use the frag grenade if you have the opportunity to, unless, of course, you're rocking Tokabi or Glass. You can use either one of his secondaries. I love the SMG-11 because it is my favorite secondary weapon. It is amazing. You can also go ahead and rock his shotgun with the SMG-11 because, well... Hold up. You don't even have to use a shotgun because of his gadget. His gadget, the sledgehammer, makes amazing murder holes, opens hatches, opens barricades, opens windows in one hit, so it can easily catch a defender's off guard on a number three. Coming in at our number three spot, we have Hibana. Hibana's gadget is the X Kairos, aka the fidget spinners. Very, very nice to open up hatches especially hatches she has three shots which is more than thermite thermite only has two she can open up very small holes she also has amazing amazing speed getting in and out of the objective you know super fast she has stun grenades and breaching charges as well so there's no problem getting to objective through soft walls or reinforced or just flashing them like you're ying on speed because why not right now, she has a bunch of different guns you can use here. You can use a Type 89 with the Barry 9 for a dual primary AR. Or you can use her shotgun and the Barry 9 for a nice shotgun and AR combo. Of course, the Barry 9 is not an AR. It is a machine pistol. But it does have more shots in it than her Type 89, which surprised me. Why, why does a secondary pistol have more shots than an assault rifle. You be uh, explain explain this to Ubisoft. She also has stun grenades, which I personally use more than the breach charge, because you can uh, you can just 
flash out everybody and you can hurry get the plan off especially on Oregon she's super useful on getting that basement hatch all three of them actually because Kate can only cover up two so there's always going to be a third one that you can always just go and like hey what's up gotta always bring a Thatcher Thatcher is very useful for her and I would use this over Thermite just because she has more shots than him like yeah Thermites are bigger but hers are smaller and that is what matters Hold up, hold up. Don't comment yet. Let me explain. Yes, I know Nomad is only good in the right hands. Yes, I know she is very difficult to play. Yes, I also know that her assault rifles aren't the best. And, yeah, okay, I guess... Whatever, no. In my opinion, Nomad is the second best operator in Rainbow Six. Her ability is so useful to watch flanks. There's such free kills if you get uh, hit by it. And come on, like, her ARs aren't even that bad. Like, the ARX, yeah, it's got 20 shots, uh, whatever. But it's her AK-74 that makes up for it. The AK-74, in my opinion, is my favorite rifle to use. Not because the fire rate's slow, but because you have a 40 round capacity at 44 damage. Do you know how many shots you have to hit to make all those count? You have to hit at least 3 shots. 3 shots with an AR? If you can't do that, go back and play Fortnite, alright dog? Like, come on. Her secondary pistol has the best ACOG ever, alright? It's literally a scope. Like, it, it's literally a sniper scope. She has the same gadget as does Habana, the stun grenade, and the breach charge. Except on Nomad, I love to use a breach charge over the stun grenade. You can still use the stun grenade, but her gadget to me is pretty much a stun grenade, but for longer. And more deadly too, because you can watch it happen. You can watch yourself die. How cool is that, right? Right? No? Okay, whatever. She's also a three speed. Two, sorry, three speed, one armor operator, and she's super useful, especially in ranked modes, and especially with communication going both ways. Now on to number one, right now. All right, now I guess you can make the 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 sense that this is my opinion. <laughs> I understand that everybody thinks Capitao's just a uh, Nick Fury on crack. But, let me just say this. If I have to choose anybody to take with me in a bomb situation, I'm taking Capitao. Alright, his LMG is godly, dude. Alright, 100 rounds. Or you can even use the Para with a 48 damage. Literally, it's a remake of Nomad's gun. But for some reason... I rock with it better. The recoil in both his LMG and his AR is non-existent, I swear. Like, his LMG, I guess, kind of um, goes back and forth. So, just use a compensator. Like, yeah, you know, it's it, it'll just, you know, go back and forth. But whatever. Alright? It's just whatever. What I love a lot about him in general is his gadget, though. His ability to pop down fire arrows and smoke arrows is insane. Like, you can literally use him in so many different scenarios. Not even, not even in just bomb. You can use him for hostage. You can, you know, you can use him anywhere. But we're mainly talking about ranked here, so yeah, bomb. Like bomb is, you you'll get it, dude. He also has claymores, which is probably the best, the second best. Uh, attack gadget there is to watch your flanks. You also have stun grenades, which is probably another one of those gadgets that are up there as well. You know he does. He's not rocking no deployable shield, no 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 deployable bulletproof camera. Pff, get those out of here, defenders. No, he is probably my favorite operator to run if we're rocking ranked, especially on maps such as theme park. Well, I guess theme parks out, but border, especially border, you can pop down some smokes and some fire arrows. Go ahead and plant an armory, get out, 
get start back up onto repel and then just sit there and hold that angle and you will win every single game i don't know what it is but i just love capital so much so he's also a three speed one armor did i not mention that like what the heck bro you give a black guy super fast speed good job you soft you're great all right thank you so much guys thank you thank you thank you so much for watching if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like down below comment your list please 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 comment your list and tell me i'm wrong for putting capital as the best attack operator like honestly i don't know why i did it i just felt inclined to and i did and i don't regret it because capital is a beast all right all right all right got it yeah thank you so much for watching like subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in the next one see ya later you freaking nerds